Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dinesh and today I will show you how to ship an Android application uh, with already populated database. So first of all you need to download the DB browser for SQLite. Uh, search for DB browser for SQLite in Google and you will uh, see the link. Click on the first link and uh, choose according to your uh, PC. Download it and install. So I have installed it in my computer. Now I will create a, uh, one database and name it uh, my external database. And create a table inside it and name the table table one. And I will add two fields, the name and the address. Name will be of type text and address will uh, also be of type text so these are the two fields click on ok now i will add some entries So we have added two uh, entries to our database, the name and the address of two people, John and Kumar. So this is our database and we will use it in our uh, application. So let's start Android Studio project. So you start a new Android Studio project and I will name it uh, database application. Click on next, next and I will choose empty activity here. and click on finish so this is our uh, project so I will create uh, two so let's change it to linear layout and I will create three fields, the edit text field, uh, a button and a, a text view. The ID of edit text will be name and button will be the query button. And finally the text view and the ID of the text view will be a result. So let's add the text in the button. Query. Uh, let's add some hint in the edit text. Please enter name to query address. So we will uh, enter the name and to query for the address. Now we need to add the dependency to our uh, Android Studio project, the Asclad asset helper library. We will add the Asclad asset helper uh, dependency to our Android Studio project. So copy this. and paste in your build.gradle file now sync the project
So now we have successfully added the SQLite asset helper library to our project. Now we will create an asset folder. Uh, click on finish so it will create an asset folder and we will create a directory inside it and it will name the directory a databases so we will put our database file in this directory copy the database file and paste it in database directory so here is our database now we will create a class named uh, database open helper and it will extend SQLite asset helper library class it will be database name and the database name should be exactly same as that of the uh, database file that we have put in the assets inside the directory databases and it will be the database person so every time when we uh, it will be it will be first uh, one and every time we update the database we will update the database version otherwise it will not work so this is the constructor of the database open helper class Now I'll create another class and name it uh, database access. Uh, we will use the instance of this class to get the access to database. Now we will create a private constructor of the class. Now we will create a method to, to that will return the instance of the class. So it will return the instance of the database access class.
now we will create a method uh, that will open the connection to the database and name uh, we name it uh, open so it will open uh, the the database connection database connection And uh, we will create uh, another method uh, that will uh, close the database connection. And name it close. So finally, we will uh, create a method uh, to query to the database and return the result. In this case, uh, we will uh, enter the name and uh, uh, get the address uh, from the database. Uh, it will return the address in the form of a string. And we will pass uh, name uh, in the a name is a string in uh, the get address method So this is the query, uh, a select address from uh, the table that we have created in our database, table 1, where name is uh, equal to the name that we will pass uh, into our method. So finally, it will return the uh, string. Address uh, address in the form of a string. And <clears throat> let's go to main activity. And uh, uh, So these three are the uh, read text field button and uh, uh, the text view field that will uh, we will we are referencing from uh, our uh, layout file.
so now we will uh, add uh, on click listener to our uh, query button so if the user inputs the uh, name in the edit text field and press the button then uh, it will uh, query to the database and return the uh, address so in the inside the onclick uh, uh, method uh, we will uh, create an instance of the database access class so our database is opened and uh, uh, we will use uh, this database connection to query to the database So we are applying here uh, the get address method and passing the name from the edit text field. And finally we will set the uh, text view set the address to the uh, set the address to, string address uh, to the text view field result address dot set text and uh, we will set address here so we will close finally we will close the database connection So our application is ready. Now we will uh, test our application. Click on run. I will test it in my emulator device. So here is our application. Uh, we will enter the name and it will uh, we will query for the uh, address. So Kumar and New Delhi is the address so if we enter zone it will display New York City so this is it guys thank you for watching uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and um, I will upload uh, more great content uh, in this channel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you